Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Monday Morning Art Talk. I'm Steven Silver, character designer and teacher, dedicated to helping you learn about the art industry and living up to your potential. Whippee! Okay, so before we get started today, I just want to touch back on just from the last week's discussion um, with artistic depression. I just first of all want to thank everyone for their just amazing insight and comments. And they're, they're really worthwhile reading if you guys get a chance. And I do want to say, because a couple people mentioned, there is clinical depression. There's things that are very serious. And one person mentioned, if you're that depressed over your art, you got to just make sure that you're getting outside help and that that you got to put the art aside sometimes and take care of yourself and then maybe have a resurgence and and that's okay because I've I've heard of people that did that um I knew of an instructor um who was a, a, I can, I'm trying to remember um uh, he's I can't remember the name but this guy he he just stopped just drawing for like 10 or 12 years altogether, was a good artist, stopped altogether, and then came back gangbusters um, through teaching and sharing his knowledge and ability. And I think it's fascinating. And I think just just know that if you're going through that, please take care of yourself and, and do what you need to do. But um, you only you know what you're truly going through. So it's important, okay? Um, so today's topic, I just want, I was walking my dog, and I'm just, you know, that's when my mind's clear too. I'm just walking my dog and we got beautiful uh, weather out here. And uh, just thinking about, I don't know why, but, you know, wh what is failure? You know, and I think I was just thinking about grades, my kids in school and uh, the grading system and all this sort of thing. And then I go, you know, what, what, is, what is failure? What? What is failure? Because this is something that every artist is afraid to have happen to them. They, you know, again, it just in general, failure. Oh my God, I failed. I failed. And, and whatever you might want to do in your life, I failed in music. I failed in art. I failed, failed, failed. And he goes, so what is it? What, what is the real failure? And I think it's about addressing that question. So I personally don't believe in Failure. I, I just don't. I, I don't know that it's a, a word that is, is so meaningful. I mean, even in school, if, if I were to have failed a class in school and got an F, does that mean I stopped going to school altogether? Is that the best choice just to just to stop and maybe if I'm 12 years old or 13 years old, 15 in high school, whatever, and just stop going to school now because I failed a class? No. What usually happens is you got to make up classes and then you got to go to summer school and you got to do all these things because you know it's something that you got to do. So and it's the same thing with anything that you're going to do in your own personal life, in your own world, is when you start a project, what's the failure? The, 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 the fact that you started has eliminated that failure in the first place, that you took initiative. How many people are even taking initiative? How many people are even starting something and, and, and going for it and going for what it is that they really want to do in life? How many people? There's not that many people. People have the idea and they want to do it and they say they want to do it, but not that many people truly act on it. So when you act on it, you've started it and you give it your best and you try Sometimes these things don't work out. That's um, that's the way it happens. When I I started a, a t-shirt company when I was, I don't know, maybe nine, twenty years old or something. Twenty-one years. I must have been a little bit older. Twenty-one trying to do a t-shirt company and uh, made t-shirts and I was, you know, I, I know it was giving me money. I was working at a grocery store. I, I was working, you know, I was doing caricatures when I was 18. So that's where I was making my money from was doing the caricatures. And with that money that I was making from doing the caricatures was I was putting it, um, I was in partnership with a guy to try to make this t-shirt company work. And we went to college campuses, tried to sell the t-shirts, sold a few here and there. But it never amounted to anything. You know, we got a trademark on it. We were putting it out there. But And I was doing the designs and he was kind of a graphic artist. And, and you know, we, we were just experimenting and, and, and trying it out to see what would happen. And, and nothing happened. Nothing came of it, you know. And, and there's other stories like that where things I, I tried and it just doesn't happen. It wasn't a failure. It's like that, that, that particular, that particular incident 
that particular little pea in the in the in the whole bag of peas didn't turn into something. That particular tree, let's go back to my tree, that particular little apple tree in that orchard of many apple trees never grew like the other things did, never manifested, did for whatever reason, wasn't getting the right, maybe that, you know, in, in the terms of what I was going through, maybe I didn't connect with the right people at that time, I didn't have the right resources. Again, this is pre-internet. This is pre this is pre-internet, guys. So, you know, you, you think, wow, what a different world trying to really get people to see it. I, I, I question, how did we ever do anything before the internet? Like, even I, writing people letters, you know, waiting for it to arrive in the mail. You know, it was, it's crazy. What a different time. Um, but that's the bottom, the bottom line is there was no failure in that because I attempted and I tried and I did my best, okay? And so that's what's gonna always keep happening. So anything you try, when you go for that drawing that you're working on, that painting that you're working on, oh my God, the amount of drawings that I've done, the amount of drawings that I've done, that you put down in front of you and you start sketching and you go, oh my God, this is just, psh, 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 you know, you're just grabbing it. Here's, uh, here's, oh, sure. Here's a, uh, yeah, there's actually a drawings on there. I didn't want to, you know, do it, but you know, just because I'm okay. You know what? See, I got a, I got a drawing right there. Crunched up in the trash. I didn't need it. You know, it was, it was, it was part of an attempt to try to get someplace else in it and it didn't work for what I wanted. And as I'm drawing and I'm working on certain things and I have those bad drawing days, is that a failure? Does that make me a bad artist? Does that make me uh, an artist that's never going to improve now because I messed up that one drawing and I had all those bad drawings? Is that what's going to cause all the, or the failure? Am I just going to stop now because of that? And so what I'd like to show you guys right now is, is something a little special. Um, I do want to tell you, though, uh, before I just show you uh, some of this stuff. And uh, for those guys who are listening on my iTunes, you're going to have to go to my YouTube channel, uh, YouTube slash Silvertunes, just to see what I'm going to show. Um, but in, in next March, I'm going to be doing um, an in-school in residency, an artist residency out in Fullerton. And it's going to be, you know, just for the students that are going there, but there's going to be a reception and there's going to be an exhibit where everyone's welcome. So anyone from anywhere can come. And it's going to be cool because I got a real great plan, what I want to share with everyone and really showing my journey. But I just kind of want to show some pieces here because this taps into the failure. I could have stopped when I was doing these pieces, but I didn't because at the time when I was working on these pieces, um, I thought, I, again, I knew that I wanted to be an artist. So none of these were a failure, you know, to the sense it was all the trial and error. It's every single drawing is going to get you that much closer to where you want to be. So how many drawings are you doing? And and I have so much artwork. And that's where, when I was cleaning out my garage last year, oh, so much artwork. And I'm happy that I saved it all, you know, on so many loose sheets. But anyway... You know, again, and what I want to say is some of you guys may think, oh my God, what are you talking about? That's good. But I don't want you to think that because it's not, it's not good in many ways. And, and that's a whole lesson in itself, sort of like trying to say why it's not good. Okay. But there's for many reasons why this stuff, you know, isn't good. And mainly the main things that uh, is missing is number one, there's no real feeling. There's no construction. There's no drawing through. There's no, I mean, some of them might have a little bit of a story there, but there's, there's nothing, there's no solid foundation. There's no understanding of the fundamentals. There was just drawing and I had to go through it and there's tangents all over the place. There's no aspect of design and it's missing so many things. But at the time when I did it, I believed in it, you know, at that moment, you know, and when I was doing this, I wasn't 11 years old or 12 years old. I was uh, 18, 19, 20 years old doing these, okay? Um, so here's like the first one. And this is uh, uh, an Indiana Jones dinosaur. <laughs> but it's, it's just so, you know, again, you just, 
I, I don't want you to think for yourself, oh, but, you know, it, it, there's anything good about it other than there was maybe an idea there and it was a rough sketch. And it's not even that, that even today, that's maybe my, my rough sketch can be as uh, rough as this and looking, but this was my, like, I was so proud of this. I remember how proud I was, okay? And here's another one. My, my first air, but one of my first airbrushing uh, that I was doing when I was studying airbrushing and I was trying to do pen and ink. Complete failure. No understanding of drawing hands or anything else. I don't even know if I was made this up if I was looking at someone else's artwork, which is even more embarrassing if I was because it's a horrible rendition of theirs, but I don't know. I, I am not going to be able to tell. But, you know, here's another one. I mean, this is just, uh, I mean, you got to get a close-up and just sort of like, look at that again. Don't think for a minute that that's good stuff. You know, there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of problems with that, you know? So if you look at that and think that's really great and you want to get in the industry right now and your drawings are looking like this, uh, you got some stuff to learn. I'm just going to be honest with you, okay? So don't think you can get a job with your stuff looking like this. This one, probably, you know, influenced by Jack Davis. I'm sure I always was. That was my life and my, and Mort Drucker, but I was trying to do my own my own, uh, I could draw football players and, and do cross hatching and oh my God, it just, it's just brutal. Okay. So look, I mean, look at that. Okay, fine. Right. It's like, okay, Hey, you know, I got some doing some stuff there, but reality, I mean, no lack of just real feeling of construction and clarity, no clarity. It's say, I mean, if you look at that from way back here, you don't even know what's going on. You can't even make sense of it, you know? It's just like, it's so cluttered and so many, so many things wrong. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, again, la just lack of, lack of, uh, you know, messing around with airbrush, but lack of construction. Just no, just no real, no real feeling and everything is just like straight up and down in it and it's just... It just, again, lacks form. There's no form. There's no draw through. There's no construction. There's no feeling, you know, through there. And then this is funny. This is my, um, <laughs> one of my first things that I did when I was doing caricatures. So I must have been around 18 years old. This was like right out of high school. And what I was trying to do was make caricatures so that I could get jobs doing caricatures at parties. And so I took these caricatures and I put it on a flyer and I, I'll have the flyer at the exhibit um, when I do that just to show my early stuff and my journey. Um, and, and, I'm, I, I, and I put this flyer together and I sent it out. I went through the yellow pages. So if you guys are familiar with the yellow page, well, it, it, there's um, every country is going to be different. So anyway, they got the yellow pages and the white pages, right? And uh, they don't have them anymore, but they drop them off at your doors. And that's where everyone, that's where I used to advertise was in the yellow pages or the white pages. And I'd pay for an ad and otherwise I'd contact all the caricature companies, ad agencies, you know, who were out there because they were all listed. All the people that were party planners. You went go to the party planning section and all of a sudden you see all the people who are doing party planning. Now we have such great access to it on the computer. And, and so I would send this out to them. And the crazy thing is I got jobs. I got work, people hired me, and I got work, and I was charging $75 an hour at the time. Now, some of these aren't bad, but uh, it, they're just funny looking at it. Again, just true lack of construction, just no real knowledge, and what's even funny is how I even drew Fred Flintstone. It is so bad, I couldn't even draw Fred, Flintst Fred Flintstone when I was just copying a picture of Fred Flintstone. So there's my Fred Flintstone just so that you can see Fred, okay? And then here's my page of different caricatures. So I have like Walt Disney, the Queen of England, Spock, uh, Saddam Hussein, uh, Bush. So you know what year it was. This was back in like, you know, 91, uh, most likely. Uh, <laughs> um, Ray Charles and Freddy Krueger. All right, and I did that and that was, oh, I'm, look at my Mickey Mouse. Look how bad that Mickey Mouse is. Is that like the worst Mickey Mouse you've ever seen? Look at that. that. I mean, there's no understanding of doing form, construction, or anything. It's just, so at that time in my life, all I was drawing was just drawing because that's what I wanted to do. Because I loved it. I, again, most of you guys know or followed my journey and, under, and read my books. You know, I never went to art school or anything. So I, I was just 
came from high school, drawing from my high school newspaper, wanted to get into the art industry, uh, and then things just went the way they did. But I was just always drawing, but and then grabbing books and you know, always trying to learn different things. But even when I was copying and studying other artists, I didn't really know what I was kind of copying or studying. I, I was just copying them. I wasn't I wasn't going through the proper approach which I teach now, which I feel is the best approach, just to kind of really go through um, when you're copying and learning from other people. Um, so that's it, you know, the thing is just failure. What is failure? Failure doesn't exist because as long as you keep moving on, I think you know when you truly fail. Failure is when you just completely stop and give up and you just, um, yet you know inside that it's something that's still a part of you, but you just completely give up all hope. Maybe that's what failure is uh, through there. Be interested to hear you guys' response. What, what is, what's your interpretation of failure? What do you think failure is, you know? But maybe that that's what it is and, and, and other stuff. So um, that's it. Anyway, make it a great week. And remember, I'll see you guys at uh, DesignerCon. All right. See you there. It's in Anaheim. Take it easy. To subscribe to my mailing list and stay updated on future workshops and events, please go to my contact at silvertoons.com and simply hit join mailing list. Until the next time, make it a great week. And thank you for listening.